and prove the trig identity here that the left's like the right. So what we'll do here is we can put the denominator. We'll, we'll fully work with the left to make it like the right. So we'll 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 make the denominator of the right like the left, or we'll convert it over here. So we got alpha. So one plus cosine alpha, and then we have that on the bottom as well. Because this is the same thing as just multiplying it by one over one, because these cancel out. All right, so when this ends up being the difference of perfect squares, so we end up with one minus cosine squared alpha over sine alpha, one plus cosine squared, or cosine squared, cosine alpha. This is a trig identity. It's the same thing as sine squared, so we can just have sine theta, sine, or sine alpha, um, sine alpha, these cancel out, and we're just left with the one plus cosine alpha. And if you notice, this matches up with what's here. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video, and you have yourself a fantastic day.